Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Peacemaker season number one, episode number four, The Cho Less Travel. And this episode is also directed by James Gunn. And we have a lot of things going down. Now we have Peacemaker finding out that his father's in prison. Also at the same time getting more helmets that he's gonna need. Also he said he, he, he lied about killing the butterfly, but no, he kept it. For his own personal reasons, like it's it's so interesting that 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 um, Peacemaker is, is working alongside this team, but at the same time he doesn't trust them completely as well too. And that, could that be a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know because we found out we found out some more stuff in this episode about the, the person who's running the show. So that's a twist I did not see coming. And so now, can we trust him? I don't know because if, if he's the if he's the butterfly too, spoiler right here because we found out that Mern is a butterfly. The spoiler. Now if he's a butterfly. What does that mean for the team? Is he a good butterfly or is he a bad butterfly? Or is he a bad butterfly who has his own agenda taking all of the good ones because they're trying to stop him? I don't know. By using these human beings to do this. What? And also the messed up part is who was Merrin before, the, before the, whole, the whole accident happened? Before he got a butterfly stuck into his head? Because even if the butterflies are good, they still are taking over people's bodies and their minds. So, yay? I don't, that's, that's, that's also a bad thing. You still force people to do things for your benefit. <sighs> yeah. That's not good. Or, are these bodies not real? I mean, are they like artificially created by the, by the, by the, um, by the butterflies so they, so they can people function in society? They're like, they, 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 they were never human. They're, they're just bodies decorated so they can they function and so they can live, walk among us and, and live amongst us as well too. I don't know. I, I, I don't. There's so many questions. So many questions here. But the thing that getting found out, we found out more about Peacemaker and his upbringing from his, hor his horrible father. We, I mean, we knew it always, you know, always bad, but seeing it in action and what he made what he made um, Chris do as a child, was, I, I'm surprised he's never more messed up. Like, good Lord. And because you're still seeing him struggling to find out who he actually is. He's trying to, he's trying to go away from his father because he doesn't, he doesn't believe what he believes in. But at the same time, he still loves his dad because that's his dad. That's the only dad he knows. That's all, that's all he has. Which is really messed up for him. And you see him struggling with that. You got to have vigilante. Wants to be there for his friend by doing anything means necessary to get there. And then you have what's, then you have what's um, going on with... Uh, uh, Amanda Waller's daughter. I can't think of her name right now. And the way she manipulated vigilante to, to pretty much take out Chris's father. Which is so messed up. At the same time, always at the same time as well too, because she comes up with the, the innocent one, and the one who does actually like, scared to do all this stuff. But she, but you can tell she has a little bit of her mother inside of her. The way she, the way she manipulated him, and the way she, the certain words she used to trigger him to make him to make him do what he did was like, wow, wow. Also pretty awesome watching Adrian Axon. Got to see him kick some button and, and beat up some well some bad people. So that was fun. But also messed up, messed up at the same time because now. Chris's father thinks he tried to have him assassinated, which is now he's gonna now he's gonna end up spilling the beans and, and telling on his on his son, which is makes things even worse. Now the police are gonna are going, are going to get involved, and that's gonna make things even more crazy. And so like a lot of things are happening right now that's so messed up. Judo Master find out he's still he's still kicking butt, and he gets shot in this episode here, but he's still alive. Can this dude not die? <laughs> Like, wow. But he looks like he knows something about the butterflies that we don't know. So, are the butterflies good? Are the butterflies bad? What was he going to say before he got shot? I don't know. So many things happening. This whole crew is, is, is dysfunctional. They're messed up and they're broken and they're, and they're hurt. And they're pretty much trying to find uh, their own family. John Cena grew up in a horrible home. It looked, like, it looked like he lost his brother in some kind of accident. He ended up having a seizure. And his father blamed him for that ever since then. So he's looking for like sort of like a, a family of his own. Vigilante trying to find a friend that he can, he can trust and be, be himself with. I mean, even even Hardcore, who acts like she's so tough, and like she's, she's not care about nobody. Look like she, she has feelings and emotions as well, too. And, and she's constantly drinking all the time by herself. So she's going through something. She's going through something. I don't know what exactly what it is, who hurt her, who who who, who, who she hurt that she never got past. Because she, she opened up a little bit to um to uh I can't think of that girl that girl's name right now. But anyway, she opened up to her and she, uh, to, to, to Amanda's Wallace's daughter and I told her that the first, what happened to her was the first time she killed somebody and what, and what she went through. So 
Yeah, they're, 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 they're dysfunctional. But look, they're coming together as, as, as a family, despite all the craziness that's going on around them. Because we still know, we still, we still don't know exactly whether the butterflies are good or not. We don't know if we can trust Mern, since now we're finding out about him. It's like, it's like, what is happening? I don't know. And then the police are going to end up getting involved in this as well, too. Now, will the police believe, believe um, Chris is dead and think he's just making up stuff because he's trying to get his, his son in jail, too? Or something else altogether? I don't know. Let's see what happens there. That's just, it's just so messed up. It's so messed up. But this, this show has a whole lot of heart to it as well, too. Because it can be funny. It can be really silly and all of that as well, as well. But it has a lot of heart to it. And it makes you care about characters who you never thought you would care about. And John Cena's performance in this episode was just amazing. Watching his whole range of being silly and goofy to like, crying on the floor. Mourning the loss of his brother and, and the regret he's feeling after that. Oh. Even like, it was like a, a, a sort of almost like a... It wasn't like a heartfelt moment between him and Harcourt, but it was like it was also something there as well too. And it looked like she does she does care about Chris's character, but and he does care about hers as well too. But he, he's still trying to be like him, like like he's always tough. Like, and there's nothing's bothering him. But my they're, they're talking about how the top fits her as well. So like I said, John Cena is, is doing an amazing job here. All the whole cast and crew is amazing, and I'm, I'm it makes me look forward to the next episode. So. This show it just seems gets better and better, and I had no idea. I understand how, how this show is so good, but it's amazing. James Gunn, man, he's killing it, and so I'm happy. I'm happy that he, he did this. Like, wow, wow. I mean, I thought the Peacemaker show was going to be very silly and goofy. I have a whole lot of fun watching it, but I didn't think it would have as much heart to it as well, too. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Peacemaker. If you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you watch it. You enjoy having fun watching it too. So give me a chance to like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it, like I always say. In my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples. <laughs>